I'm Dr. Ramsey Nashid. I'm an anesthesiologist in practice uh, since 1991, so the last 28 years. I want to give physicians and clinicians and nurses a basic understanding of the properties of nitrous. It was first discovered in the late 1700s by Priestley, and it was mainly used for entertainment purposes. People used it for amusement. It was then noted that it had analgesic properties. During one of the exhibits, a person who was using nitrous had cut his leg and wasn't aware of it until later on. And someone, there was a physician who was observing it, realized that there must be analgesic properties to nitrous and he decided to try using it in medical applications and it started in dentistry. But at the time there was really no device to control the concentration and to make sure that these patients were getting oxygen as well as nitrous. So really the administration of nitrous in, for medical purposes really didn't start until the middle of the 20th century because that's when devices were developed for safe administration of nitrous. They allowed precise control of the concentration and making sure that the patients never get exposed to a hypoxic mixture, meaning less than 20% oxygen. Actually, most devices currently never give less than 30% oxygen, so it's, it's actually safer. You're actually still getting a higher concentration of oxygen than in the ambient uh, air.